So as you can probably guess, today we're going to be doing some work on my Nexus 6. So this is the uh, 32 gig uh, blue Nexus 6. I purchased it in December of 2014. Um, it's been a really good phone, but unfortunately I charge my phone every night. Um, I usually put it on charge right before I go to bed and take it off again when I wake up in the morning for work. And turbo charging the phone, uh, which the, the default charger is a turbo charger or a quick charger. Uh, so doing that every night for the last few years has uh, severely degraded the battery. So I have here a replacement battery. It is an OEM replacement. It's a Motorola Easy 30. So I've got that. I have a new back cover because I don't know if you can tell or not, but the uh, the back cover that's on here now is actually some of the lettering fell out. So I decided to go ahead and get a replacement for that. This is supposed to have the adhesive already on the back of it, so I shouldn't have to replace any adhesive. It should uh, just fit right back on. And I also have a new wireless charging coil because um, I discovered Quite a while, quite a ways after I, or quite a while after I bought the uh, phone, I discovered that my wireless charging coil actually doesn't work, um, and I don't know if it's because it's just disconnected, or if it's faulty or what. But we're gonna open it up and we're gonna figure it out. So I have a uh, iFixit toolkit here, and uh, it's got everything I need in it to do the job. And the first step is we're gonna heat the back of the phone up a little bit to loosen up the adhesives. So. Without much further to say, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I got it to the point that it's just just barely too hot to touch. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these little picks and start seeing if I can pry this back cover up. Okay, so I was able to get this thin metal pry tool in there, and that gave me enough uh, clearance to get one of the picks in, and I'm just going to continue along with the pick in hopes of um, not damaging anything because I, I'm a bit nervous using that metal tool. I should just be able to slide this along the edges and uh, basically cut the adhesive out of the way until it pries up. Okay, there we go, it is off, and that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but everything does appear to be intact, so we are 
good to go on that front. So now um, comes the uh, tedious part. In order to finish removing this, I have to uh, take out a ton of little screws all along the edge of the device. So I'm going to get started on that. Alright, so that is all the screws out. So there we are, the Nexus is apart. There's the screen portion, I won't be doing anything with that, and the battery, which I will be replacing. So now we should be able to just peel this adhesive off the back of the battery, and the battery will come out. Fortunately, it looks like this adhesive won't be nearly as bad as the adhesive that I was holding the back cover on. Yep, that was relatively easy. And then there's a little connector there. The charging coil. All right, well, I tore the connector on the charging coil, but that's fine because I have a replacement anyway. I couldn't figure out how it came off. But uh, there is the old battery with charging coil. And we are ready for the replacement.